Howdy boys and girls, welcome to a Sunday morning market watch with me, Aguila Swiftly. Just before we start, uh, Monday, I'm going to do a Pokemon market watch if you're interested. Please come and join, please come and watch, as we don't do them too often. But uh, yeah, we'll just have a quick look at what's going on. We're going to go through some of the more expensive cards that came out in Season 1, as far as where prices are still dropping really quickly. So for those of you who were like really desperate and really, really wanted some of those cards that were paying like the £30 they came out of, yeah... But uh, yeah, we'll have a quick look at some of the cards, some of the original printings of the cards, and some of the uh, details of the cards, and we'll go from there. So, see you in the video. Oh, if we do go in there, please like, comment, subscribe on this video, share if you can, and if you don't like it, let me know why. Because uh, I can only improve if you want me to improve. So, see you in the video. So, welcome back to another Card Market Watch then. We're going to be taking a look at some of the Infernoble Knight engine, mixed with one of the uh, original Noble Knight cards. And then we're going to have a quick look at some of the Season 1 stuff and what price you can look at paying for it. Just as a quick sort of comment though, the prices of Toon Cast has always slowly started coming down, 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 down. Immortal Gear 3 has come down drastically since his original price, nearly to the price basically of half in some cases, but uh, we'll have a quick look through here. So you can see, it's getting much cheaper. English cheapest is 21. It's so actually cheaper than what we saw originally. But then here you go. Oof, that's a that's a good job of those cards. So yeah, if you still after these, still available. Roughly, they are cheaper than what they originally were thought to be, around about thirty to thirty-five. So yeah, if you are after this, which I'm gonna say, as soon as we start seeing pull rates from the rows of the dual list, you're definitely gonna know what we're gonna get, and you're gonna need to pick up some of these. I'm pretty sure people have said that all of the Inferno Knight cards are gonna be ultra rares, so you're getting. Maximum of what four per box. If there's a secret rare, you you might be able to sort of go like, well, I've, I've got what I need. I think one of their synchros is a secret rare, which is the only one that's not going to be available. So yeah, and keep an eye on that for now. And also, Infernal uh, Renault has actually got up in price. It did drop down at one point down to just over fifteen. It's just got up and up and up. It's uh, they're all good cards. Trying to get English copies are going to be what's all good for me personally. I do have one of these, as you saw, be pulled from the video. But yeah, I need at least two more of these. You only play one of uh, Roland, so I've got mine sorted. So I still need to get my three uh, Immortal Gods and my two Infernoite Roland, uh, Renaults for the deck. Hopefully we can actually pull quite a few of the cards we need from the boost box open that we're going to open in the near future. So fingers crossed we can get it. Chaos Space has come down drastically in price. As you see, at one point it was like nearly a €20 Euro card. And yeah, it's just come back down to sort of a better price range. Cheapest is going for like three in Spanish, and then we've got some Italian, and we have some English. We have two here in English, in all fairness. People are saying that they don't necessarily want to play one to three of these in their deck still. It's obviously a good card, but obviously sometimes it's trying to fix fit space into those decks, especially when you want to play a 40 card variant. But yeah, prices have come down from what they originally were. In all fairness, the original spike for this card I think was like five, and then slowly went up once we knew what was actually what the card actually did. And now it's come back down again. So yeah, <sighs> not too bad if, you, if I do say so myself. Heritage of the Chalice. So this is the Mega Tin version. This is the one I said people to pick up because it should be worth more value. And yeah, it's Noble Knights. It's going to be working with Infernoble Knights. It's a great card. Pick these up where you still can, if they're still available for you. I paid, I think, like £2 for the, my free. So yeah. Look at eBay, got mine from eBay at the time. Might be hard to get now. But yeah, definitely worth getting this card. You can also get it in its original rarity though, which is in Ultra Rare. It's still a nice rarity, still still nice and shiny. But you are looking at around about the... Uh, not not too bad. It's Obviously when you're paying sort of things like this, what happened here? You want to try and get a playset, but I think... Finding four playsets, there you go. Your cheapest four playset will be... Oh, wait, no, no, you know me. That's not in English. Yeah, there you go. It's going to be hard to get a place set, I think, for a good price. So it might be worth actually just looking over here at oh, way, this and then going, hey, where's my, where's my first place set? English? English? Nope. 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 English one? Nope. English one? Nope. Nope. It might just be really hard to get in English in, a, in the place set. Because obviously, what you want to do here is obviously uh, combine the postage costs. I mean, if you want it in German. Not, not, too, not too bad if you want it in German. But yeah. Uh, Oh, here you go. First one in English is BDA cards. You're looking, they've got a, a few places here. 
So yeah, that's what we're doing. Also, want this and shipping wizards will be undergoing maintenance in the week. So be careful if you are on here. Ancient gear fusion. So I'm gonna raise my hands and say maybe it was a little bit hasty when I did say that we should possibly be getting the original printing drop down in price. Now either I'm being an idiot, which if I am, hands up, my fault. Or people are just holding onto their cards because they don't want to sell them. Which is fair enough. But in our secret rare, because apparently, it doesn't matter if this is prismatic, in terms of promo prismatic, they still class this as a secret rare. So these are our promos. Obviously, it's much easier to get one of these than it is the original printing. Like, like ridiculously. Even though we didn't pull one during our little opening of 11 boxes, still so much easier. Still, like, super duper easy in comparison. But yeah, your English here, this guy's heavy water. He's got four play sets available. I've just brought mine out so long ago. I got mine for much cheaper than this. I, I got mine for just over the um, five pound mark. Did very well. Bought a few other things too. But yeah, pick these up if you're looking to play uh, ancient gear. As well, I've, I've picked up three of these just because, you know, as you see from yesterday's video, we're doing like theme decks from the set. What can we make? So I'm gonna try and do an Agent Gear Fusion. It's gonna be kind of weird. So I think I have to like incorporate um, Bendit Keith stuff because there's just not enough cards in the set to make an actual pure Agent Gear monster. I think even if I was to pull out some of my like uh, dual power stuff, I don't think I'd have enough to like fill it just as a pure deck. But with that being said, if we look at the original printing of this card, the first printing and the only other printing, still 25. And obviously going up to 30s plus then. Place it here. This is now probably more of a collector's rare than it is going to be. Well, collect, collectible rarity in Ultra. As it's so uncommon in comparison. But yeah. I mean, people were still buying this the other day. Even though they've, they've known for a long time that this set was going to have this in high rarity. So obviously people still like this over one, which is perfectly fine. Millennium Eyes Restrict. So, as I've said for a while, this card needs to come down in price. And pretty much around the time I said that... Car prices don't drop because I think the people are getting worried. But you look at here, English ones, the cheapest in the market currently. Five, you know, you're looking around the five to six, good price. Obviously, looking at posts afterwards, eBay prices around about eleven to twelve. What I saw the other day when I was looking for myself, but then Millennium Eyes Restrict in Ultra Rare is still going around for the thirteen fifty. The thirteen fifty, and again, same with the H and Gear Golem, H uh, and Gear Fusion card. I can see this being like a little collectible thing. When people are like, you know, I, I want to get like my LDS one set. So I want to have all those cards put together. And then we go from there. That's perfectly fine. You do you. But uh, yeah, prices have come down drastically. I mean, people were looking at like 25 not too long ago. I mean, that, that was earlier this month. So people people were desperate for this for some reason. Even though we knew it was going out. Um, so yeah, I mean, probably they've been sold... What's our cheapest English? Our cheapest English is sixteen. So yeah, I mean, some some people probably want to finish their uh, their set off, you know, get get a full binder. Some people do. Look at old school um, collector. Oh god, what's his name? I can't remember. Probably I'll, I'll put I'll put something up somewhere. But yeah, he does pack openings from the old school stuff, and it lasts like month or so. He's been putting up different um, binders of what he's collected over the years. His first edition stuff. It's it's a good it's a good watch if you are interested in sort of like the old cards and the old markets and such like that. Crystal ones in season one. So this is the most expensive version of this card at five pounds or five euros. Then going up to five fifty for the first English and a playset in English is around five sixty five. So in all fairness, the, the most expensive card screen in this set is this ultra rare and then Ancient Gears Fusion. Those are the, those are your two pricey cards currently in this set. In all fairness, you can pull two crystal bonds from one pack, uh, one, one box, so you can but get your money back that way. And if you're super lucky, you can pull out a uh, gear, and that's how you're gonna like plus on this deck, or plus on this plus on a box. I suppose the issue with this is, as a rule, is like there's not a lot of mainstream value from anything other than just the shiny cards. Like even your commons are super cheap. Like even like pulling out like a red eyes darkness dragon, which at one point was like five pound for the common version because you just couldn't find it. It's now like 2p a card. So we'll have a quick look, just, just so I'm not going crazy. So if we go here, singles, uh, name, red eyes, just search it. So if we go red eyes, darkness, metal, yeah, 12, 12 cents. 
for uh, this card, and there's like over a thousand available. And not long ago, like this card, you tried to you tried to buy it from anywhere, eBay, he, even here, you were you were paying like at least over five pounds for it. So if we have a quick look at the others, show 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 a variance. And here you go. So legendary, super cheap. Uh, Dual Saga is now looking at three twenty five. Structure deck, Rise of the True Dragons is a pound. If this is the common version. Legendary Mega Packs 4, and this is a secret rare. See, so the prices have all just dropped. They've all just like, smashed the floor, which is fine. This was a good card. Obviously, got the Arata, which is obviously what this one is. Nice new artwork, mind you guys. I, wish you, I still wish it was an Ultra Rare or a secret rare, but uh, nice new artwork. Got the Arata once per turn, which, you know, still still a good card. Don't think it's not. But yeah, so. This card has now come down in price. I don't know if the Arata made it come down in price as well. I hadn't really been checking too much, as I knew this was coming out in this set, even in the new artwork. So, hmm. And then the original Crystal Bonds from Ancient Millenniums is still an expensive card. But as I've said, people obviously want a good quality one of these. They want to have it maybe for their actual like binder sets. Maybe it's just collector's rare. I mean, it's, it is the ultra rare in the yellow writing, so it's gold writing now. Whereas the other ones are all in the blue, the green, and the, the purple. Still wish the purple was actually a red, but there we go. Maybe one day, maybe one day we'll get the red, but that's not today. And then just have a quick look at the uh, the structure deck. So the structure deck coming out in the next two weeks, well, less than that now, it's now. Oh, it's not two weeks, no, it's more than two weeks. It's 19 days. Nine, 19 days, so 18 days when this will go up tomorrow. If you look at the value of this box now, let's just think you really, really want to have this here. It's actually probably now worth just buying some of the singles. If you obviously need stuff just because you don't have any of like, these cards from the old printings, that's fair enough. You you go get yourself a box or two, or get the get the price set. I mean, these cards are still rough, roughly worth the price of a box, but the fact that like, this card here, which is obviously the first time printing of this card, was just like it was a two pound or like, two euro card, and now it's gone down to seventy p. Obviously, shows that they're very worried about actually selling these boxes, which can cause to be concerning. Uh, and then this is the most expensive card. It's the reprint of the Kaiju. But I think it's only had like two other printers before this one. Yeah, so it was an MP16. And in... Yeah, Dimension of Chaos. So there you go. This is a rare. Currently cheapest is English. £2. And then you've got the... Is it rare? Yeah, also rare. In Megatins. Also like two. So, yeah... I don't know if it definitely needs a reprint, but it's getting a reprint. It's obviously coming out as a it's obviously dark monster, so it fits very well with the chaos theme. But uh, yeah, there we go. And I believe that'll be it for today. Thank you for joining me. As I said in the last part of the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Leave a dislike if you did enjoy the content. But please let me know why. And we'll see you guys tomorrow, as in Monday, because I'm doing it. You know how I do this. So I'll see you guys Monday for a Pokemon Market Watch. And then Tuesday, I think I'm going to discuss about the things that didn't turn up in Duelist Season 1 which should have turned up. We are missing, I want to say, like 15 to 20 cards that just didn't turn up, so they they, they cherry-picked some things and put new cards in, so here we can go for that. But for now, peace out. You enjoy a nice, happy Sunday. Hopefully it's nice where the weather is for you. And please give you a hug to your mother and father if you live for them, because I'm sure they're getting scared and lonely during these horrible, horrible times. Mwah. We love you. Bye.